I've got this crazy idea of how we can use APRS to make contacts during winter fill day. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Now I need to give a big shout out to Kenny Whit uh, for kind of sparking this idea. Kenny is always throwing random stuff at me pertaining to using Winlink and APRS. And this uh, is kind of unique. I didn't realize that APRS quite worked like this. So let's jump over to the computer. Let me walk you guys through this process. And then I also want to take a look at the winter fill day rule that will specifically apply to this type use case. Now, first, a little bit about how the APRS messaging system works. Anytime you send a message into the APRS system, it is recorded and logged. And I think it's recorded for at least, or available for anyone to look up for at least 14 days. And what I've got pulled up here is findyou.com. And we're looking at all of the messages that were sent to SMS GTE. And that's the uh, service where you can send text messages or APRS messages that get delivered as text messages on mobile devices. Now, you can also pull this same information at APRS.fi, although it's a different look to this website. So whichever one of these you prefer the look to, well, feel free to use it. And I'm actually going to show you guys in a minute how to get this information delivered to your WinLink inbox in case you're going to do like I am and not use internet at all during winter field day. So now that you understand, we can send a message to something and it gets recorded. Here's a little bit of a hack that I want to use for winter field day. I sent a message to WFD23. Now you can see the message right here that I sent out. Uh, and this message basically just went into the void, but it was captured by the APRS system as a message to WFD23. And we can recall that, again, like I said, for up to 14 days, roughly, depending on which uh, website you look at. So my thinking is during winter field day, if you have an APRS capable rig, you will simply send a message to WFD23 and put something in there, maybe like uh, CQ field day uh, for the message. Then at some point later in the day, you will want to take a look at this website. Or again, I'll show you how to do this in Winlink too, if you're like me and don't have that internet connection. But we want to look at this website for all of the contacts that will be recorded here. So anyone that sends a message to WFD23 would show up right over here in the from column. And then you could reach out to them via APRS message to make a contact. So just kind of a little hack that I've come up with that I think we can use to challenge ourselves during winter field day. Now let's take a look at this same thing over here on APRS.fi and you'll see that same data is displayed here again. And here's where I'm getting that information that messages are stored for 14 days. Now, if you're not going to have internet during winter field day, you can still download that information using WinLink. So uh, again, you would want to send your message to WFD23, your APRS message, at some point earlier in the day on winter field day, and then wait until uh, sometime late afternoon, early evening, and query this list. But the way this works, you send the message, uh, the WinLink message, to query at saledocs.com, and then you simply put this link in the body. For the subject, you can just put none, uh, or you can put, it really doesn't matter what you put in a subject, so put anything in the subject, because I don't think WinLink will actually send a message if you don't have a subject in there. So send it to query at saledocs.com, put something in the subject, and then paste one of these links. Now, again, I'll leave links for APRS.fi and findyou.com down in the description below. And I'll even try to remember to pin that as the first comment so you can find these links. Now, this one here specifically uh, was querying SMS GTE. And you would want to replace that with WFD23 if you wanted to retrieve all of those uh, messages from the winter field day messaging system. 
All right, so let's take a look at the way this looks when it comes back into the Winlink system. I've already sent a request out for both of these. So let's take a look at APRS.FI. Uh, whoops, I'm on my sent box. I need to be on my received. All right, so let's take a look at APRS.FI here. And if we scroll down this a little bit, you will see, and I tell you what, let me make that screen a little bit smaller, and you'll be able to see those messages that have been sent to SMS GTE right here. So this, uh, when it comes to WinLink, I actually prefer the APRS.FI site. Uh, if I'm looking at it online, I actually prefer the findyou.com site. So either way, it's up to you. Uh, I just wanted you guys to be able to see the difference in the way these got delivered to WinLink. So again, this is the one from uh, APRS.FI. Let's take a quick peek at the one from Find You, and you'll be able to see a bit of a different format. So instead of each uh, message being on a single line, they're kind of grouped together. So you can see this one here uh, came from KD9VJX-7. Uh, and then this next group came from KF7ARL. So uh, just a couple of different ways to format these messages depending on which, uh, which site you make the request from. But the whole idea of this is just to utilize APRS to make a few contacts on winter fill day. Even if you only make one or two, that's cool. I just want to see if we can uh, find a unique way to kind of hack the APRS messaging system. Before we wrap this up today, I do want to jump back over to the computer for just a second and take a look at the Winterfield Day rule that will apply specifically to contacts such as these. So taking a look at the Winterfield Day rules, the only thing that I have seen that really would address this is under miscellaneous rules, this one right here that says CUSOs may only be solicited during the contest and only via the airwaves. The use of spotting clusters, uh, the RBN, APRS, and WinLink to solicit contacts will be allowed during the contest. So in order for all of this to work and be legal, we would need to send that message from the APRS or an APRS-capable radio during winter field day hours. If you send it prior to the start, then it's not going to count. But you can easily look at the results on that WFD23 request and see the date and time that the message was sent. So as long as you send it during the winter field day hours and you use uh, WinLink to make that request or uh, according to the rules, if you can use the reverse, uh, reverse beacon network, that means that nothing is disallowing the internet. So I think, at least to my understanding of this, it would be legal for you to look up that page online and find a couple of calls that you could make a contact with. And this is just one of the ways that I plan to try to make a couple of unique contacts on Winter Field Day. The other one we're going to do is the WinLink Position Reporting Challenge, and I will be putting a video out on that as well. So check out that video if you saw this one first. Uh, but two different ways that I want to try to make some unique contacts this winter field day. All right, I hope you guys found this information useful. If you would, give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.